Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Marsha's Masha and Stuff. So glad to have you here. And if you are a new subscriber, thank you so very much. And if you're one of my original subscribers, I appreciate you guys more than you know. So I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys today, long overdue. It's been sitting around for a week and needs to be shown to you guys so hopefully that you can find it in your store I did do a shop with me where I showed you all these items so if you miss that you can always go back and watch that video and also I did a collaboration DIY with Melissa so if you missed that I will link it below in the description box but on into today's haul, and thank you, Melissa. I really do appreciate you more than you know. So the first item up for grabs is this. It is a miniature caboodle. What? These are so nostalgic. And even though it does not have any tray that comes out, as you see here, it's just the box, the container itself. Kicking myself for not picking up more. It's got the little handle. Perfect little gift set for adults because I wanted this really bad. So I'll put it back here so you can actually see the size of it, it's not that big. I don't even know if they say how big it is. It says, this is not a toy. It is distributed by Greenbrier, so hopefully you can find this at your local Dollar Tree. I'm looking for two more of them as we speak. So also, I was ecstatic. I came across the Merry Christmas with the red truck bag. I also found, and they're different sizes, so note that the May Your Christmas Be Merry and Bright with the camper, and then the Farm Fresh Christmas Trees, Pine, Spruce, and Fir. So these are absolutely stunning, you guys. I hope it's coming across to you. So you'll notice these two are the same size, but this one on the end is definitely larger. So definitely be on the lookout for these. They are a great find at only a dollar. And I do apologize if you hear my dog whining in the background or the cat digging in the bags because um, I had to edit this. So anyway, um, we're starting over because I trimmed off some things I shouldn't have. But with that being said, I'll go ahead and jump into this last one, which is the stocking that looks like a sweater. Love it. And if you don't want to use it for that purpose or you want to pick up more than one, it's also by Christmas House. There you see. Um, you can always deconstruct this and use it for a DIY. Yes. So uh, that is what I have for you guys. And you'll see the rest in the remaining video. But make sure you go back and watch that collaboration it was so much fun and thank you again melissa i appreciate everything and you help helping me so much and helping my channel to grow so be sure to hit that subscribe button ring that bell give a thumbs up and comment below what are you looking for what's on your wish list and in the background you notice there's fall decor there's Christmas decor. So yeah, we're just all over the place today. But hope you guys enjoy the remainder of the video. And until I see you in a few minutes, <laughs> bye for now. Okay, so hopefully that took care of that issue. So I hope there's no more shadows going forward. But I did also pick up this gorgeous picture frame. There's kind of a glare on it, 
but it does have the red truck in it. That's not why I picked it up, but it could certainly be used for that. So sorry about the glare. I'm going to hold it back here. It's just an 8x10, and really I picked it up to, do, to frame something. A DIY. <laughs> And then at this spot, the Difference SpongeBob book. I'll do a quick little flip through for you. So yeah, you. I mean, how cool is that for a dollar? Stocking stuffers galore at the Dollar Tree. I said it before, I'll say it again. You can rack up right here, guys. So keep that in mind. Also was lucky enough to run across the flower makeup by Drew Barrymore and it is in the L57 shade. L for lipstick 57 is the shade and I can't even re read it. I'm not sure, but maybe you guys can see it there, and maybe I'll be able to read it in the video. It says, so something, so I'm not sure. <laughs> but it is beautiful, and I picked this up in Kingsport, Tennessee. As you know, I go to many different Dollar Trees, and because of that, I was able to pick up this. I've been talking about it, said I didn't need it, but as soon as I found the salad plate, I was like, wait a minute, guys. I mean, that is too good a score not to go ahead and pick that up. So I did. And it just says, tis the season on the salad plate with the little holly berries around it. And then the plate itself is just plain. I don't think they could have done a better job on this. Every time I get close to the camera, it casts a big old shadow. So just trying to keep that in mind. But yes, these two together, the simplicity is everything. Love it. So again, the shadowing, I don't know what is going on. Bear with me one more moment. Okay, guys, so sorry about all of the shadows and all the interruptions. I do apologize. Did just recently come across this little bank, and um, you could take it apart right here to get your money out, but you slide your money in there, and this one says invest in yourself, and how cute is that? Doubt that I will leave it the way it is knowing me but it's just too cute also in the crafter square section they had these little wood cubes they are 2.25 inches so they're not very big at all as you see but i did go ahead and pick up four of those just didn't think you wanted to see all of them and then some good old caulk because, you know, gingerbread houses, this is very useful in any DIY. Also, I'm searching for the other pair and hoping that I did get two pairs. But I did pick up the Mossy Oak. That is correct. Name brand Mossy Oak at the Dollar Tree. It's the Cushion Work Socks. I said it had a cushion in the heel, but no, it's just Cushion Work Socks. They are men's shoe size, let's see, uh, sock size 10 to 11, shoe size 5 to 12. Moisture wicking, pre premium comfort, and extra cushion. And they are the crew length. So there you go on that major score. Also as well, I did go ahead and pick up two bath bombs. One is Mermaid Life, and this one is Honey and Pear. And then I also picked up Goddess, and this is a Juniper and Musk. So, if you've used either of these, let me know how well they perform. 
I suddenly have an addiction with bath bombs. <laughs> so guys, moving right along. Don't want to waste your time or keep you waiting. I did uh, go ahead and pick up one of these embossing tools. I thought if you have a Cricut, it would be perfect for that. That's my dog, and I am sorry. But Cricut Silhouette, it would be perfect for weeding. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet, because I don't know how to use my Cricut. No, I don't. <laughs> True story, fact. Okay, guys, I also went ahead in the tool bench section, as you see there, I picked up the furniture markers. I had never seen these colors, and in my shop with me, if you watch that, I pointed out that it says mahogany, walnut, and black. So, I make sure you look at the bottom because it actually says the color, because they look kind of dark that way, but just check these out. These work great to stain wood without having to use actual stains. So if you are pregnant, this is a great alternative. Okay guys, and moving right along, I did also find this little gem. How cute is this? So you put your picture in there, and I just thought that was super sweet. So also a gift, some little blind bags. These are the finger links. The um, Three surprises, and this is series three, both of them are, and there's 48 different ones to collect as well. So you see that there. I hate to make a bunch of noise with the plastic, but I did also go ahead and pick up the Bolero foot scrub. I had been passing this up for quite some time, it has the peppermint and eucalyptus in it, as you see there. It is only three ounces, but just because it's in a small bottle doesn't make it worth it. Haven't tried it yet, looking forward to it, was waiting on this haul to do so. And also, you guys, I did go ahead and pick up old school throwback to the 80s, salon selective flexible hairspray. And it shows you right here, it's a brushable control hold. It has um, a plumping, anti-humidity, and non-sticky formula. Just what I like. I don't like it to look like I've sprayed my hair, but I like my hair to stay in place, if that makes sense to you. So there you are. So the, the strength hold goes along through here. One being the least, two being, you know, medium, and third being it ain't moving <laughs> okay guys so also finally in Christmas house ran across the bows yay I was so excited as you all know I'm not a bow maker been watching tons of videos but we have the red and black buffalo check pattern for Christmas and then these burlap they're not really burlap, but they feel like it, but they have plastic on the back. But they are so sparkly and cute. Could not pass up either one of these gems. Oh, apparently I liked it so much, I got two. Okay, you guys, and then my aunt picked me up this little hat. And I'm not finding my stocking jet, but I will. Also got them in the red and black buffalo check. And you could even deconstruct this and make you a gnome out of it if you wanted to. Don't think I'll be doing that with it. Went back and also, I guess Christmas House is who puts out everything for Christmas at the Dollar Tree. But it's the mini wreath form and guys I mean it is just a circle it is three inches in diameter so you could use it like that or you could cut it up and put it down into one of your DIYs or just pluck each individual thing off so that is probably what I will do also 
I did finally find some craft fabric. This one's fraying, and this was the best one I could find. But it's from Crafter Square Craft Fabric, and it's kind of like the plates. It's the Holly Berry. It, it's just beautiful, I think. I really do think it is. And let's see, how much do you get with this? 20 by 21 inches. So it doesn't, it doesn't really say how much you get. But if you've ever seen these before, you know. Um, I would love to open this for you, but it is so taped up. I don't know that. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it is actually, there we go. So you can see it better. But, I mean, that's a big piece of fabric for a dollar, and you could make several projects with that. Okay, guys, I did finally run across some wooden letters, and I definitely picked up two packs of those. These are very hard to find, 26-piece set, especially this time of year. And also, these pine cones, you get six pieces of them. I just found these the other day in silver, and they also had gold as well. So I we went ahead and grabbed those as well. I already showed you that. And by jot, I did go ahead and pick up some rubber bands to make my own gnomes. It's 3.5 ounces or sort of sizes. So different sizes as you see here, but can't beat it at a buck. And then we're nearing the end. One of the hot cocoa gift sets by Nestle. Perfect to go down in a gift set. And with that in mind, I will go ahead and show you this. I did pick up this um, by Christmas House Oh So Good Let It Snow. It is the microfiber kitchen towel, 15 by 25 inches. So, that is so cute. That is so stinking cute. And then also with that, I picked up the Baking Spirits Bright plate to match. And the mug. So, going to do a little gift set with this. So, how cute is that? I'm not sure how you see it. If you see it that way. I think so. So there we go. That's a major score. And then the towel to go with it. I thought was utterly cute. Great little gift set. $3 right there. And if you include the Nestle Hot Cocoa, $4. And then I told you they had the Snuggadoos out for the little ones. These are 0 to 36 months for my granddaughter. And they are purple and white. These will take up her whole leg, but eventually she will grow into them. Okay, guys, I have just a couple more items for you, and then I will let you go. Okay, guys, so I just found this beautiful ribbon. It says Joy, Mary, Ho, 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 and it is nine feet burlap ribbon so glad to have found this happy about that and then oh my gosh you guys i have been wanting these to come to my town for so super duper long these are the face masks yes and I picked one up in this um, tie-dyed pattern, which I love. They only had two, so I grabbed two of those and this one. So this one is more flowery, and probably be keeping this one for myself and gifting these two. You can't find these at a dollar, Th not this kind. These are awesome, so what a great 
treat that is. I totally unexpected and it was not filming correctly when I showed them in my walk with or shop with me video. I also picked up this six deluxe Christmas cards and printed envelope one design. It's a 3D embellishment. And on the inside it says, have a very Merry Christmas full of fun and merriment this holiday season. So I'm glad it said Merry Christmas. But it says holiday cheer on the outside. And if you look closely, that's a mason jar. And I love the background. I love everything about this. So yeah, you only get six, but that's truly all I need. So I'm going to send out a few Christmas cards and then picked up this to do a DIY with as well. These are the little cardboard gift boxes. So you could actually put together a cute little gift set in here or use it for a DIY as well. And then guys, we just have a few more products. Went ahead and splurged on the LA Color Beauty Pot Splurge. It's a dollar, but I love those colors. They're right up my alley. So you get three in one. And how beautiful are those? Haven't tried it yet, but I will let you know. And then the Just Yarn, it's the Chunky Yarn, premium yarn at that. Did go ahead and pick that up to help make my gnomes. And then by Freeman, I did go ahead and pick up this sheet mask. It is a brightening seaweed and pearl mask. So that is a great deal. I've told you guys before, these retail for $5 for one at Sally's Beauty Supply. So if you can pick up one for a dollar or two for a dollar, that is a steal and you better grab it. They do go really fast too. I was lucky. And then last but not least, we have the Diamond Nail File. And these are name brand. And this is a big, it's a wide broad grinder. It's professional heavy coarse file for shaping nails recommended I wish I'd read this for artificial nails but that is okay it will serve its purpose but guys thank you so much for sticking around I hope that you stuck around to the end of the video we are almost at 300 can't speak 300 subscribers and I am so excited about that so do not forget to subscribe like Give it a thumbs up and share and comment below. I want to link things below. Thank you, Melissa. I appreciate your help. And thank you for watching. Thank each and every one of you who clicked on this video today. And until the next time, guys, I will see you then. Have a great day and a blessed weekend. Don't know when you'll be seeing this, but here it is uh Friday, November 20th. I'm almost positive. Don't quote me on that. But until the next time, bye guys.